we get ready for this next fight, I might as well tell you, to my right is a two-time United States Olympic wrestler. But I say this without that caveat, wrestling's the best base for modern-day mixed martial arts, and his wrestling is truly as good as it gets. As good as it gets, and he lives by the bottom. He embraces the ground. He gets out there, and he tries to punish you with his effort. He wants to punish you with his intensity, and he wants to overwhelm you with his pressure. That is wrestling. From the wrestling on the mat to wrestling on the feet, it's pressure, pressure, pressure. This young man is just literally, uh, he personifies the style that so many of us were known for. Yeah, dude like pummels all day. His wife's yeah. like, I'm looking for a hug. You don't need to pummel me. <laughs> Tremendous wrestler. We'll see if the hands have developed a little bit, but certainly a good opportunity on a big stage for him here today. deserves to be fighting inside of the Octagon. One of the tighter strikers the UFC has ever seen in the heavyweight division. The cardio, the pace, the pressure that you face when you fight a Cain Velasquez is overwhelming. Guys melt, and it's because after one round you realize we're just getting started. Right. And Cain's only revving up the engine. It's truly, truly difficult to stare down the barrel of a fight with Cain Velasquez. And he hasn't necessarily adopted my cardio Cain moniker, but there are a <laughs> few guys that can match the cardiovascular strength of the great Cain Velasquez big spot for him. for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Octagon for this one. Good. Good. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Cain Velasquez. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And blocks the shot there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Great kick to the body. Big shot lands for both guys. Swing and a miss by Velasquez. There's the kick, it's blocked. Working off the jab, it's good. Nice shot to the body there. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Another hook lands there by Velasquez. Nicely done to the body. 
Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily... He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Just over two minutes now to go. Severn gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Cardio Kane Velasquez. Work. Right hand landed. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Good shot, good shot. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Velasquez gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Oh, man, it's a big shot, too. Velasquez's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will be a huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, it's Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this fight. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Check, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. He's under massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combination. Oh, oh he's on wobbly legs now. That one landed clean. MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that's... Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, my goodness!
Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kane Velasquez. All right, so a big win for Cardio Kane Velasquez here tonight, and I know a big part of the narrative here during fight week was the back injury that has taken up a good chunk of Kane's prime. Certainly didn't seem to be injured here tonight as he turns back the clock and shows you that vintage Velasquez form that for a while resulted in him being the best heavyweight in the world.